All right, guys, today we have a 2000 Nissan Altima. This car takes a long crank to start up and it has a check engine light on. And I wanna show you guys exactly what's the problem with this car. First, what we're gonna do is let's listen to this car. I'm gonna start this car up and listen to it, how it starts up. You, see, you hear that? It takes a long crank to start. So let's check. It has the service engine light on. So we're gonna scan it. We got the scan tool connected to it. And let's see what the code is. And from years of experience, this is probably a crank sensor or a cam sensor, because I have done these before. So let's scan this car. This is a Nissan. Let's go on Nissan. Press yes. Okay, let's put in a manual ID because this is, I'm sure it's not gonna do an automatic ID. So it's a 2002 Altima, it's the first one. Altima, I don't know if you can see it, but first one is Altima, 2.5 liter. Okay. Engine. We're gonna, we're gonna scan codes. So it's trying to communicate with the engine control module and see what the codes are. Okay, so there we have it. There's a CKP sensor. That's a crank position sensor. The code is P0335. And then it's giving another signal. It says engine speed signals to C TCM 725. So we, we're gonna take care of this uh, crank sensor code 33 P0335, which this might the other might be just related to it, and we'll reset the light after that. And once we change that sensor, let's see how the car starts up. Alright, so the crank sensor. The crank sensor is all the way in the bottom all the way bottom in the back of the engine right where the transmission and engine is uh, put together you're not going to be able to get it from the bottom you can try to fish it but in the bottom i know there's an axle and an engine mount but i've done a few of these and i uh, usually i remove this cover on the top and then i'm able to see right between the throttle body and the wild cover gasket there's a little gap you can see it has a number 10 it looks just something like this, the cam sensor. So it has a number 10 bolt and a crank uh, and a connector. Once you remove that, the sensor comes out. So we're gonna do that. And uh, after that, we'll start up the car and let's see how it starts up. All right, guys, so to continue the job on this car, what I did was I removed this cover here, which goes on top of the car here. It has a bolt here, which is the Allen key one here one here and one there and then i remove this air duct pipe so we can get access to the crank sensor which is right there this wire here it goes to the sensor so i'm gonna remove that number 10 and take off this connector and uh then i'm gonna get that sensor out of there put a new sensor in and put everything back together and then I'll get back to this and show you guys all right guys so I have the crank sensor out I had a little difficulty taking this out because that seal was stuck I put a little bit of WD-40 on it and I grabbed it pulled it yanked it you see how the back of the uh, sensor is all broken up I tried to grab it with the vice grip pull it out but it wouldn't come out so you had to play around with it this was the best way I get it out of there I grabbed it from there twisted it turned it pull the yank the all kinds of stuff and uh this is the connector for it just want to show you guys the connector this is this connector these green connectors you always got to push this really hard push this in really hard and then you don't have to pr press nothing after that you just pull it it releases itself so when i put this in i'm gonna do is what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna push it really hard and this is gonna click back to a spot and it's gonna hold on to the sensor right it's not like one of these regular ones you press and it comes out no you have to push it in 
and then it releases itself and it had a number 10 millimeter socket uh, I'm sorry 10 millimeter bolt on top but you had to take out the connector first because this, it blocks the view for the for the socket to go on it so that once the connector is out it gives you enough clearance to uh, put the number 10 millimeter on it to take this out and when I get a new sensor I'm gonna show you guys I think they changed the design of this sensor to a different one I'm gonna show you that and then uh, after that I'm gonna put everything back together and uh, we're gonna start up the car and see how it sounds after that it should start up very smoothly and easily all right guys so here it is they changed this sensor for some reason right Nissan had a little problem with these sensors so as you see the design look at the one in the bottom and look at the new one this is the new one they made a metal one usually these break and uh, so made they made it out of metal and they made a round shape out of it and also one more thing they changed the the angle of this of, of where the bolt goes so you can uh, have an easy access to the bolt down the road so that's it I'm gonna put this back together I might not be able to video it but after that we'll start up the car and see how it feels and how it starts up all right guys so I got the oh shoot I forgot my light down there well, while I'm going down there let me show you guys a new sensor that's in there I don't know if you can see it but it's in there in there let me get my light out of there you see that shiny thing that's my snap on light right, there you go that's my light so we got the air duct in there I tighten up the bolt here bolt there put this pipe in there with the clamp and I'm gonna finish up putting the cover on the top later on but let's go inside the car let's crank this car up let's see it should start up good so I'm gonna take this car, I'm gonna take the key, put the key in the ignition. There you go, it starts out beautiful. And I'm gonna reset that service engine soon light. And that's how you fix the crank sensor code on this car. If you have a delay start, you change the crank sensor if it's giving you a code. Sometimes you can change the cam sensor on the top together because they both work together. But uh this is what we're going to do on this car and that's it. That's the end of this video. See you on the next one.